What's up everybody, Zoltox here, coming to you with another video. Um, ah, man, there's mosquitoes everywhere out here. What I'm going to be talking about today is my new ACU US Military bivy bag um, that I got from Amazon from a company called Tenier. I ordered the very good quality. Uh, they have different sections of quality, very good, or they got new, very good, good, fair, uh, and low, I think. Um, so I ordered the very good uh, bivy bag from Tenier, uh, and actually what came in the mail was a brand new unissued bivy bag uh, from the military. I'm super stoked, uh, I can't believe I got such a good deal on a brand new bivy, bivy bag. And um, yeah, we're going to talk about a little bit of the specs um, and functionality of this bivy bag. And we're going to compare it a little bit to some, uh, uh, we're going to compare it to my... Uh, Mountain Warehouse bivy bag. So, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, the mosquitoes were really bad, so I had to create a uh, smoke fire. Nothing too big. Um, I'm just using the pine needles over there, and it's so much better now. Mosquitoes are still out, but we'll see what we can do. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the size. This is the Mountain Warehouse. This is the uh, Accu bivy bag from Tenier. This is not compressible any more than what I have. As you can see, I can't push it together. This on the other hand, I can. So the Mountain Warehouse bivy bag packs down extremely small. This is about half a pound, I would assume. Maybe a, maybe a third of, or two thirds of a pound. This is a pound and a half. Still really light. Now let's uh, open them up and see what happens. Okay, so that's the Mountain Warehouse bivy bag. This is the US Military ACU bivy bag. Um, first things first, this one is a little bit longer, as you can tell. I would reckon that this is about seven feet long, um, but it has a narrow uh, foot box, so keep that in mind. This ACU Military bivy bag is about maybe six feet and five inches. Um, I'm six foot, I fit fine in here uh, with a little bit of extra headroom. Um, so, bivy bag over here, longer, shorter, wider, narrower. Also, Mountain Warehouse bivy bag has no head clamp. Once you get in, you put this over you like that if you want. Um, or you can turn it upside down and have this as your head hoodie, but then you are exposed to the ground beneath you. I have used this before um, in a previous video, and I did love it. I was extremely thankful. It kept me 100% waterproof, but I did have to flip on my side and keep that over my head. On the other hand, on the ACU military bivy bag, you have Velcro right here that can clamp right on top like that. That ensures that your hoodie is always down, and you don't have to worry about having it upside down to keep your head dry. Another nice feature about the military bag is it has a zipper underneath right here along with buttons that help secure it in place to keep you 100% waterproof. Now this has buttons lined on the inside also which is made for uh, your modular sleep system. That requires military uh, sleeping bags which are going to be heavier than civilian sleeping bags, um, so keep that in mind. But the zippers work great, they never get snagged, and they come right across. Okay, now one of the best things about the military bag over the Mountain Warehouse bag is that it is created with Gore-Tex. Um, I did read some reviews that said that the uh, Accu military bag was not designed with Gore-Tex um, and that it actually uses a tactical fabric very similar to Gore-Tex. I believe Gore-Tex has to be designed by the company Gore-Tex in order for it to be Gore-Tex, but it's made with the same materials. Um, the breathability is superb. Uh, I slept inside of the ACU uh, bivy bag and I, I will be honest, it breathes a whole lot better than the Mountain Warehouse. Mountain Warehouse didn't cost me much. I think it only cost me about 30 bucks. I don't remember. 
This only cost me 45 bucks, uh, but I did get lucky with a brand new issue. I believe normally that is a lot more than 45, but thanks, Tanier, you guys sent me a brand new bivy bag. I don't know if that was intentional, but I'm super excited. Okay, let's go over the pros and cons once more. Pros, Mountain Warehouse is lighter, cheaper, and can pack smaller. On the other hand, the military bivy bag is only a pound and a half, so it is a little bit heavier than the Mountain Warehouse, but it is more durable, it is larger, so you can actually fit a mat and your winter sleeping bag inside of it. I could not fit a winter sleeping bag and a uh, mat inside of the Mountain Warehouse. Please keep that in mind. That is one of the most important things. Two, Mountain Warehouse is not breathable. It's, it's semi-breathable, but compared to the Gore-Tex military bivy bag, they don't even compar or compare. Um, literally, the military bag is so much better. Also, the military bag has zippers, so you can actually slide all your stuff inside before you uh, zip it up and that keeps it a lot easier, uh, that makes it a lot easier to put in your sleeping bag and your sleeping mat. Mountain Warehouse does not have uh, zippers. So my thoughts, would I get a uh, military bag or would I get Mountain Warehouse? This comes down to a matter of preference and what you're using it for. Um, if you want to go solo camping or just camping in general and don't want to mess with tents or anything, I would go for the military bag. Um, if you're just trying to get a bag that's going to last anywhere and survive and not break, military bag. Uh, now, are you trying to maybe pack in a survival bivy just in case something bad happens? Um, then I would go with the Mountain Warehouse. The Mountain Warehouse does have some functionality. Because it's so light and packs so small, you can throw that into your backpack. Now, I don't know about you, but I have been inside some tents with some friends that uh, they don't, they're not waterproof. And, I, and you know, if you had the Mountain Warehouse bag inside your camping bag, that'd be so nice because you just whip that out, put that over your sleeping bag, and now you're waterproof just in case your tent starts leaking. So, that being said, I'm still going to continue using my Mountain Warehouse bag. When I go on backpacking trips and I'm going to be inside of someone else's tent, then yes, I'm bringing this with me as a backup. Now if I'm going on a backpacking trip by myself, or if I'm going on a backpacking trip with no tents, bring in the military bivy bag. I'm a guy that loves simplicity. I don't like hooking up tents. Um, there are pros and cons to a tent. A tent can be hooked up if you have a nice tent. You can hook it up during the rain, uh, the rain fly first, and then the actual tent, and then none of your stuff will get wet. On a, mil on a bivy bag, on the other hand, if it's raining on you, then it's raining on you. Uh, you're gonna have to pack a, t uh, a tarp if you want to set up a rain fly first and then your bag. Um, but yeah, I am gonna be using this military bag in a lot of my next camping videos. I plan on going camping at least once or twice in the fall and in the winter I plan on using this bag and uh, surviving some winter storms. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope this helps you guys uh, choose a bivy bag that's right for you. If you have any questions please let me know. Once again I'm so satisfied with both these products uh, but I am glad to have a, a universal shelter that will survive in any condition. I have used this before it was really helpful, but making the switch, I think it's going to be worth it. All right, guys, hope this video helped you out. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you want, like this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.